howdy folks. Welcome back to my channel. Time for another unboxing video and I think I'm finally getting to the end of the Christmas unboxings. Today I will be unboxing the Stylophone Gen X1. Now real quick, uh, if you remember back in December I did an unboxing video of this, the Stylophone Beat. Um, actually a pretty popular video. A lot of people seem to like it but this is their kind of groove box. And then shortly after Christmas I got this actually for Christmas and I did a video about this. This is the Stylophone Bowie, which is uh, basically an S1 Stylophone that uh, has, a, has a David Bowie tribute finish. And you can see this one also has the case. And uh, so I've done both of those. Now this is kind of the third one in the Stylophone lineup. This is the Stylophone Gen X1. This was a, pre a Christmas present from my wife. I've been sitting here looking at it every day going, don't open it until you're on video. Don't open it until you're on video. Well, finally we're on video, let's do this. So. Okay, here we go. Nothing else in the box. There is our Stylophone Gen X1. Let's go ahead and get it out of the box. There we go. So we have a user guide here, quick start guide here, and of course we have our Stylophone Gen X1. It's larger than the traditional Stylophone. You can see you know, just from the size of the case that it's already larger. And it's actually a little bit larger than the Stylophone Beat as well. Similar in size, but just a little bit larger. So, completely different design here. Now, just with that, before I've even plugged this in or done anything, you'll notice right on the front, you've got the typical stylus that you're used to on the Stylophone. And then you've got this little touch ribbon. So in addition to being able to play with a stylus, the idea of the Gen X1 is you can also just play it with your finger. Now where the traditional stylophone gave us very few controls over the actual sounds. I mean, all we really have here, we have this sort of a range switch down here, and then we have our vibrato on and off, and that's it. And that's basically our only ways to shape the sound. With the Stylophone Gen X1, they wanted to give you a whole lot of ways to shape the sound. So you can see there's kind of this little set of knobs out here. And uh, this, this first three right here, these deal with the envelope. Next to that, we have the LFO. Here we have a delay circuit. And finally, we have filter controls. In addition, on the side here, we've got, uh, we've got a power on off, of course, right here. But then we've also got three buttons. And these buttons, I'm not sure how well you can see this, they're labeled X, negative one, and negative two. X engages pulse width modulation. So that will allow, um, I'm assuming the LFO, to control the actual pulse width on, uh, on, the, on the square wave circuit. The minus one and minus two add sub oscillators. So that would be one octave and two octaves below the main oscillator. So now we've got a whole bunch of sound shaping tools. Additionally, over here, we've got a volume control. We've got a output and we also have an auxiliary input. So not only can we use the Stylophone's internal sounds and affect them with these knobs, we can take an external sound in, run it through the filter, the delay, etc., and actually affect an external instrument as well. On the back, we have the usual Stylophone tuning knob that we're used to, and we also have the battery door. Do want to note, with the other two Stylophones, they ran on three AA batteries. This one requires four AA batteries. But let's go ahead and get some AA's, get them in here, and let's hear what this thing sounds like. Okay, so here is our Stylophone Gen X1. I have it plugged into my audio interface, so you're hearing direct audio. Let's go ahead and turn it on. And just quick to note, there is no power LED on this one, or actually, or on the original Stylophone, but there is on the Stylophone Beat. Um, so there we go. Let's go ahead and pop out our stylus, and hopefully we hear that Stylophone sound. <laughs> Indeed we do. Um, one other thing that's unique about this Stylophone compared to the others is it has this ribbon here. And supposedly this ribbon, you can play with the stylus or you can play with just your finger. You can. Now this ribbon also, where this is quantized, so you see it sort of jumps every time I go to a new pad to the next note. This goes smoothly. So if I push the uh, minus one button, we should hear a sub oscillator. So definitely hear that. And let's do the minus two button. Let's try out the pulse width modulation. So that's this button up here. And I'm going to assume that the rate knob here 
on the LFO will control the pulse width, mod, pulse, pulse width modulation. By the way, just FYI, I have the delay off. I have uh, every knob turned all the way to the left with the exception of filter cutoff that's turned all the way to the right. So let's go ahead and see what happens here. Okay, we can hear that pulse switch, yeah, pulse width modulation. Let me tweak this. Ah, there we go. So you can hear exactly as I suspected, the LFO is sort of controlling the pulse width. Now that's similar to the vibrato we had on the original xylophone, but yet a little bit different. Okay, so up here in the top left, we have our envelope control, and apparently this is a sort of pitch envelope. So you can see if I just touch it, here's like our default sound. And then if I turn this pitch control up, we hear just like a little bit of a click there. But then if I start adding attack, we hear the pitch sort of ramp up. Or if I add decay, we should hear the pitch ramp down. And if I add attack and decay, you guessed it, it ramps up and down. And then this controls how much. This is the maximum amount. So huge shift in pitch. And then let's try like a very small amount. So there you go. Maxed out attack with minimal decay. Okay, and reverse, let's do maxed out decay with minimal attack. So there you go. Okay, another thing to note, once it rises, if you don't pick up the stylus, it doesn't drop back down. So I'll show you what I mean. Okay, but if I do this, we know that we use the LFO to control the pulse width modulation, but you can also do other, something else with it. Let's find out here. If I push this and we turn this up. You can use it to control some sort of uh, pitch effects as well. And you've got two different you've got two different settings here. You have a square wave setting and a triangle wave setting. The square wave setting effectively means all on and all off. All on, all off, all on, all off. This one it'll ramp up and down. A little more gradual. So now let's add some pitch envelope and some uh, some LFO here and see what we get. Kind of cool. Filter is kind of your most basic sound shaping material on most synthesizers. It's a typical sound that you've heard. But of course, when we add resonance to our filter, we get that really kind of characteristic analog sound. Okay, last but not least, we gotta take a look at the delay. So let's go ahead, turn the filter all back up, turn the pitch down, or the depth on down on both of these, and oh, let's turn the resonance down too. There we go. And let's see what the delay sounds like. So this is our delay on off. So we hear a real quick delay there. Let's go ahead and give it some more time. Nice. And then we have a feedback control that should control the amount of repeats. There we go. So we can hear a lot more repeats there. We make the time longer. So that's really neat. Now let's go ahead and try to put kind of all of the uh, things together here and see what we can do. So we'll add a little.
So obviously a regular stylophone cannot do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and test out the uh, auxiliary input here. I grabbed this little device. This is called the Space Oddity from Brand New Noise. Clearly you can see the David Bowie influence in the design. And uh, it's kind of ironic because David Bowie is also associated with the stylophone. But it's a very simple thing. It has a microphone and a playback. Uh, you say something into it and capture it and then you can control the pitch with this. Uh, I did a David Bowie-like loop. I'm floating in a most peculiar way. You can loop it. I'm floating and in a most peculiar way. I'm floating in a most peculiar way. I'm floating in a most peculiar way. Let's go ahead and loop that. I'm floating in a most peculiar way. And then way. we'll add the I'm floating in a most peculiar way. 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 And just for the heck of it, let's try the ribbon here since I haven't tried that yet. That's pretty wild. Okay, folks, there you have it. That was a unboxing quick overview of the Stylophone Gen X1. Now, hopefully from the demo there, you can see it does cover a different niche than the standard Stylophone or the Stylophone Beat. It overlaps with the standard Stylophone, the S1, quite a bit, but it has a lot more controls. And in fact, this feels more like a um, like a Monotron Delay kind of a sound and feel, if you're familiar with the Monotron Delay. I've done several videos about that. It's kind of similar to that, but it actually has more control because it gives you envelope and LFO controls that that one uh, does not necessarily give you. So, you know, it's kind of uh, whatever you're looking for, but it definitely fills a niche. It's definitely cool. And I'm sure I will get some good use out of this. Now, if you're interested in one of these, you can find these at many, many music stores on Amazon, eBay, you name it. Um, they're going to cost you quite a bit more than the standard stylophones. These will cost about 75. Now, it's still fairly cheap in the scheme of things, but um, it's about double the cost of a, of a normal stylophone. So, you know, depending on what you're looking for, there you go. There you have it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And if you like what I do on this channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button for me. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys soon.